Hello gamers, this is FireRyan10 from Triple R Kings Gaming bringing you a tutorial on how to build an unlimited EE source on Tekken. As you can see, I'm going to use water mills and a system of machines to build my unlimited EE source. This is quick and easy and is pretty well resourced. So, let's get going. First off, I'd like to show you all the materials that you'll need to build this system over here. And I will build it myself, just to show you how it's done. So first, I'll, here are the materials that you're going to need. A mess of buckets, a filter, retriever, deployer, pneumatic tubes, timers, red oil, alloy wires, water mills, glass fiber cables, some kind of energy holding source, it does not have to be an MSS, MFSU, a blue alloy wire, a battery box, and some solar panels. So, the three wires you're going to need, red alloy wire, some glass fiber cable, or some other EE uh, transferring device of your choice, blue alloy wire, and some pneumatic tubes. For the machines that you're going to need to build, the water mill, consisting of wooden planks, sticks, and a generator, you're going to need at least a couple of these, because these are going to be what produces your energy. Next, you're going to need a filter, consisting of cobblestone, gold ingots, red doped wafers, and a piston. The red doped wafer is made inside a... I believe an alloy furnace, so you can look up how to do those online. Next you, we have a retriever made up of a filter, brass ingots, leather, ender pearls, iron ingots, and blue alloy ingots. Again the alloy ingots are made inside the furnace and brass ingots the same. Next we have the timer which is made up of a few different stone wafers and stone wires that you will or that you can figure out how to build stone pointer stone stone cathode stone anode stone wires and stone wafers next we have our deployer the deployer just consists of easy materials cobblestone chest piston redstone we've got a battery box, which consists of BT batteries, wooden planks, iron ingots, and blue alloy ingots. Finally, we need solar panels. Uh, these are made up of a series of blue doped wafers and blue alloy ingots. These are all the materials that you'll need to build the system. So now that we have our materials, we need er, we can begin to build the machine. First off, you're going to need an unlimited water source of your choice, which you can see over here. The unlimited water source can be the 1x3, the 2x2, uh, the 3x3, whatever you feel most comfortable in building. So, first we're going to take our deployers, retrievers, and filters, you only need one of each, and we're going to place them in their respective positions. The deployer faces outwards like this with its mouth towards the water. We're going to take the filter and place it like, whoops, sorry. We're going to place it down. Uh, We're going to place it down on the other side of the deployer. So we'll place that first, sorry, with its mouth outwards and then the deployer. You're going to have to shift quick to get some of these things. Alright, then we place our, our retriever place our retriever with its mouth 
out this direction, like this. Then we can break this block here. Next, so we can uh, hook this all up, take pneumatic tubes, place one here to connect the retriever and the deployer, and then place as many as you need to cover the bottoms of your um, of your water mouse. So, now let's take the red alloy wire and wire this up. You'll also need the timer for this job. So first we'll set down our timer. And set it to whatever interval you find the best. I, I keep it at about 0 0.8. It's a good interval. So, now we need to wire up all these machines to the same red alloy wire. So, how we do that is, let's go ahead and move this back one. You take your red alloy wire, and you're going to dig underneath these machines. Connect the red alloy wire underneath. And now all your machines are going to be synchronized by the timer. Alright, next we're going to need electricity to power your retriever, because the retriever is the only device that requires electricity out of these three machines. So how we're going to do that is we're going to hook up a solar panel, a battery box, and some blue alloy wire. First, we'll set down the bat box. Grab some real quick. Get some stone or something here. And we're going to place solar panels around this so we can power it. <laughs> and these solar panels will keep it charged so you don't have to worry about it. Now, we just hook up using our blue alloy wire. We hook that up to our, uh, our retriever. Of course, I'm going to rest until day, real quick, so I can show you that the battery is charging and that the retriever is going to receive electricity. Might take a moment. <laughs> there you go. You can see this bar is filling up, so once that gets filled up, it can start retrieving properly. Next, we're going to put our water mills on here. The water mills will just go in any of the free spaces that you can put them on, on the pneumatic tubes. You can make as many water mills as you want, as long as you have a pneumatic tube under each one of them. So, next, we're going to take our water buckets and get them all in our inventory and stuff. And then we're going to fill up the system. So. Now, we take the water buckets, we put in the retriever an empty water bucket, so what we'll do is just get a water bucket, and we put that in the filter, placing it anywhere within the filter. The deployer will grab water from the unlimited water source, feed it into the filter, the filter will transfer it into the pneumatic tubes, the pneumatic tubes will go to the retriever. The retriever will then pump the um empty buckets back into the deployer. So now, we take and we fill up the deployer with empty buckets. All right. So, now your deployer will take water from the unlimited water source and in turn, put the buckets inside the water mills. Now, using some wire and a energy holder of your choice, go ahead and shift and place wire on top of the mills, and then place your energy source. Of course, the more water mills you have, the more energy you'll produce, 
but this is a fair amount of energy that will produce all day round without having to worry about it stopping. It rarely ever breaks down and it's efficient with resources. So, as you can see right here, this is our unlimited EE source from Tekkit. Thank you guys for watching my video, and I will see you another time.